Hi, my name is Kylie Blount and I work for CIS Abroad, which is a partner of your institutions for study abroad opportunities. Unfortunately, study abroad is pretty much canceled for 2020 due to the pandemic. And we at CIS Abroad have been working very hard to come up with new and innovative programs that we can offer to students to still help them continue to work on their career development. One of those opportunities is our virtual internship option. And so today I wanna to spend some time talking to you about the benefits of a virtual internship, as well as showing you where some resources are that can help you make this decision if you're interested in learning more. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we can go from there. So you're probably going to find the most relevant and most helpful information on our website, but I know it can be challenging to navigate different companies' websites. So I wanted to just take you on a quick intro to where things are on the CIS Abroad website. So when looking for any program information, I typically go up to find a program up here. And you can search by program type, which you'll see virtual internships listed there as well as for the virtual internships, sometimes students are really interested in learning more about the sample placements. And so this is really great if you're most interested in learning more about what we can provide to your majors. So you can search by the internship fields here as well, and that can be really helpful. I would say if you're still on the fence and trying to decide um, if a virtual internship is right for you, I would highly recommend reading our blog post that we have. This just came out earlier this week and I found it to be very helpful and insightful. It really breaks down for you the internship program itself and highlight some of the benefits to doing something like this. So a virtual internship could be really helpful to you if maybe your study abroad plans got canceled this year and you still wanna have a meaningful cultural interaction, or perhaps you're just looking for another way to boost your resume, but we know right now it can be very difficult to even just get internships here in the US. So with a virtual internship working through an organization like CIS Abroad, you're pretty much guaranteed a placement in the field that you're interested in learning more about. So that's really nice. And then we also include a lot more cultural learning as well. So you can kind of take that into consideration. It's a great way to test the waters too, if you are planning to study abroad maybe in 2021 or 2022. You can take a look at our list of countries and maybe there's a certain destination where you're really interested in going and kind of use this as a way to test things out and see if it's still of interest. We do have two different um, virtual internship options. And so I really love using this chart uh, when talking to students and trying to help them navigate and understand the differences between the internship options. So as you can see here, we have two columns, very clearly lays out some of the differences between these two programs. The accelerated model is going to be shorter and much more professionally focused. And then the virtual global internships, global is going to be a little bit longer and they also have more of a cultural focus in helping you understand some of the cultural nuances of the workplace in which you are working. So there's some little bit differences there. Additionally, the costs are going to vary just slightly. And as you scroll down here, you can see what's all included. And so that's a great way to kind of understand a little bit more about what's included in all of these programs. I really like this section here that outlines the program fit. So this tells you exactly what you need to know about which one of these options would be better for you. So you can read through that and take your time. Maybe you need credit. If so, the global virtual internship option is going to be the best for you, as well as maybe you're looking to develop some cross-cultural competencies. You know that that's going to be very helpful. If you don't have a lot of time, the virtual internship accelerated version is going to be probably your best option. You can squeeze it in. It's part-time work. It's only four weeks. Very easy to do. And especially if you're someone who really enjoys being independent and kind of working on your own. So those are just some of the differences that I wanted to highlight to you. Um, 
but I would continue, continue to explore that on your own um, just so you can understand some of those differences and figure out what's going to be the best fit for you. So the website's going to have the most up-to-date information regarding application deadlines and any of the real nitty-gritty details that you would need to know about each of these locations and the program options. You can search by program type up here. As you can see, virtual internships is up at the top. Or additionally, you can also search by intern field, which we know a lot of you are very concerned and interested in what kind of placements we offer. Placements are all customized, so sometimes it's difficult to have a really strong understanding of what those look like, but this really clearly lays it out for you. And so you can search by any of these and find some examples of what students are doing. So click on one here. So you can see. I would say with regards to placements, the key is going to be being flexible and really thinking through what you would like to get out of the experience. So as you can see, we have clearly outlined here for you several different options, right? These are all examples of what other students have done, where we know that you'll be working. These pro companies have all been vetted by us and they know how to work with our interns. So you can read these and see if anything catches your fancy. Additionally, if you want to take some time and maybe do some research on your own and really think through what's most important to you to get out of your internship experience. Do you wanna work for a small company? Do you wanna work for a large corporation? What kinds of tasks are most important to you getting out of your experience? All of that information is going to be extremely helpful to our program coordinators in helping them ensure that you get an internship placement that really matches the experience that you're looking to receive. So um, I will lastly say just do not get too attached to these sample placements. They are examples for a reason. We do probably have several different placements that might be available in these areas. Um, but we would never want to guarantee one of these to you. And so it's really important to be flexible when it comes to that. Um, I would also say, you know, it might be helpful to be flexible if the field and the experience in terms of the placement is most important to you. It will be helpful to us to be flexible on the country or the location where you might be receiving that experience. Um, and if you are, your heart is set, let's say on South Africa, maybe you are able to be a little bit more flexible with us about the kind of job or the placement experience that we'd be able to provide to you. So I just ask for your understanding there. But this experience is really all about you. So you are getting, you know, whatever you want to put into this and we are working with you to make sure that that happens. So that's the great thing about having customized internship experiences is you're really able to get this experience that you want versus just having to apply for a job description that's been posted. So I think that that's a really great benefit to programs like this um, and something not to be overlooked. I will very quickly just take you to one of the country pages so you can kind of get a sense of what's available here. And it's basically just going to tell you some of the things, what to expect, um, any sort of requirements that we have, highlights, and it will dig in a little bit more down below to some of the sample placements so you can see for each location, they'll have all the ones listed here that will be available. I just wanna take a moment to recognize that these opportunities are open to undergraduate and graduate students. So, you know, as long as you have a cumulative GPA, we are more than happy to work with you. Um, if you're able to get this for credit, then we'll just wanna make sure any criteria that you need for the class, we are able to accommodate on our end and make sure that you receive that for your credit to count. So keep those things in mind as you are thinking about applying to the program. And lastly, I do want to just show you very quickly what the application looks like. So you would just go up to that section where I just was and click on apply now, very easy. And you will just fill in this information, which is pretty short and sweet for this first page here. So basic general information, general details here. 
And the last piece that will allow your application to move forward is going to be paying your $90 application fee. So that tells us that you are serious and ready to move forward in the matching process for your placement. That $90 fee goes into your program fee. It's not an additional separate fee, so that's really important to keep in mind. Additionally, you can also add the promotion code virtual 300 and receive $300 off your program fee. So I'd highly recommend doing that because we know money, every little bit helps, right, with these programs. Uh, if you have any questions along the way, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or the study abroad office. We are happy to help you and help you navigate and find more resources that are available to you. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this information makes you consider a virtual internship. I know it's something that I would have loved to have done during my time in undergraduate. So I would encourage you to think outside the box and find those opportunities because who knows, maybe we'll all be working from home a lot more frequently nowadays. So I think it's a great chance for you to get ahead of the game. I look forward to hearing from you and take care.